so once you're inside cPanel just scroll down to the section named domains which is right here domains and this icon just click on that and you should get a screen that looks similar to this um, right over here where it says subdomain just type in what you want to call it uh, let's go ahead and go with blog then over here is your domain um, make sure it is uh, selected if you have more than one then make sure you have the right one selected uh, down here where it says document root this is where the subdomain is going to point to it is a directory on your website um, this name is automatically put in by the whatever you type in for subdomain in this case blog uh, keep in mind that creating a subdomain does not create the directory so once you create your subdomain if you haven't already done so um, create the create the directory Click create and there you go it has been created and just uh, double check and there it is blog dot myfreetreasure dot com there's where it'll point to now just to test it out I have already created a um, a directory and installed WordPress to it so let's just type in HTTP slash slash blog dot myfreetreasure dot com and hit enter and there you go brings up the WordPress uh, default template and that's all that is required to create a subdomain thank you for watching my tutorial and I will see you next time